Hey there YouTube, CJ is here with another clear tutorial video. This time we are doing the Shaman. The current patch is 2.6, hotfix number 4. Um, not too much has changed from the last Shaman video, if anything really. Uh, but I figured I'd just give you an update so you're not kind of wondering if it is the updated version or not. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to encourage you to read all of abilities uh, once I give you the spec so you become a more fluent player and understand your spec a little better than the average Joe. Now, uh, also, this is the highest DPS spec for clerics right now, and the highest single target and highest viable AoE, and why the reason I say viable is because, yes, there is a Cabalist AoE spec that pulls 100k on the test dummies in Tempest Bay, but it's not viable because it has shit single target making it not worth your time now yeah I will give you the capitalist spec some other day just to screw around with your buddies and guildmates and laugh a uh, good laugh but for right now we're going to do the shaman one I'm gonna do the five stages and stage one will be the spec now this spec isn't going to collide with your non storm legion uh, soul owners because all of these are just traditional specs uh, that you don't have to purchase so we go 61 in Shaman, we go 10 in Druid for the 10% Wisdom bonus. We don't care about the pet because we don't use it. Uh, also the 10% damage buff with instant abilities because everything we do is instant cast. There is absolutely no casting whatsoever, which is uh, very nice. Uh, there are a couple of abilities we use in the Druids that we get down here and I'll explain later. Uh, over in the Inquisitor we just do the Planar Study for 10% spell power. So, assuming you've probably paused the video already and gotten the spec, we will go ahead and close that and move over to the macros. There are three macros for this spec. There is non-physical, physical, and the boom macro, which is your cooldown. So, first things first, the non-physical one, which is right here, I will post in the description and you can copy and paste it out into the game. Non-physical stands for, yes you got it right, ranged. You do not have to be in melee range. Now, the other half of the macro, which would be your physical one, which is, yes, you probably got it right again, you have to be in melee range for physical damage. Third and final one, which is up here, is the boom, aka cooldown macro. Uh, it just has rage in the north and deep freeze, uh, which is kind of a cool one. So. Uh, now that you've probably paused the video once again and gotten the macros, uh, we will move on to the next part, the buffs. Now, the buffs you get, uh, I'm not going to read them to you because I'm assuming you can read, because uh, you've gotten to here. So, uh, the first buff is Armor of Devotion, which just increases your crit hit. Glory of the Chosen, which uh, restores health every time you swing. Courage of the Panther, which increases damage done and ignores some stuff and gives you more mana. Furious Assault makes your global cooldowns a little faster, which is also nice. Heart of the Frozen Sea, which is some resistance. And uh, your single target buff will be Vengeance of the Winter Storm, and your AoE buff will be Vengeance of the Prime of the North. Now, the reason I have these segregated in single target and AoE, uh, they don't look like this. I have them in a macro just to keep it straight for me. Uh, when you're in AoE, you will only be able to cast one of these, I should say. So you can only have one Vengeance at a time. Winter Storm is for single target, and Primal North is for the AoE. So, uh, make sure you get those straight. Like, once again, Winter Storm, single target, Primal North, AoE. So we're going to be doing the single target right now, which is the Primal, or just the Winter Storm. So... The rotation for, let's see, make sure I got my crystal, yep. So the rotation for the single target will be as follows. Uh, once again, you can replay this video back and forth till it gets fluent, but I feel like you will pick it up the first time. So, uh, like I said in the Inquisitor video, and if you haven't watched it, I'd recommend it, uh, there are two types of dots clerics run into. There are ones that fall off and you want to reapply, and there are dots that you never want to fall off. In this scenario, 
we will have dots that you apply and want them to fall off and then reapply. You don't deal with any of the ones that you never want to fall off. So that uh, dot is Lightning Hammer, uh, which is not in a macro. You just pull that out of your ability book. So when you open up with anything, the most important part of Cleric Damage is Lightning Hammer because it does a lot of damage and increases your damage if you have the crystal, uh, which I'll show you here. The crystal is when Lightning Hammer is active, your abilities are 100% more powerful for 15 seconds. That uh, buff pretty much stays up all of the time. So that's, uh, that's a pretty important part. So first you will start the uh, start the encounter with the boom macro you want to hit it twice giving you both of your uh, cooldowns then you want to apply lightning hammer and then simple as this physical non-physical physical non-physical physical non-physical non macro physical macro whenever jolt is up like this proc you want to use it and then you just keep doing non-physical, physical, non-physical, physical. Oh, non lightning hammer's fallen off. Reapply lightning hammer. Then jolt procced. So basically all you're doing is keeping the lightning hammer on and then doing, you're toggling it. You're doing non-physical, physical, non-physical, physical, physical. And then when jolt procs, you'd use jolt. That's pretty much all it is for the single target rotation. Now for the uh, AoE rotation, is just as simple you're going to go ahead and remember to switch your single target buff now to the AOE one so if, instead of using Winter Storm we will go to Primal North now what you do is you would engage them with the uh, you would open up the encounter with the two uh, cooldown macro which is the boom you would apply Frozen Wrath then you would do Avalanche Strike Strike of the Maelstrom. Avalanche Strike, Strike of the Maelstrom. Avalanche Strike, Strike of the Maelstrom. And then whenever Frozen Wrath is ready, you will reapply it. And, uh, yeah. Like in dungeons, I'll be pulling 30, 40k AoE just off of doing that. Uh, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Uh, in raids, you do upwards of 50 plus. So, on Matriarch, this is the spec to have, which is uh, the third boss in Endless Eclipse. And yes, you will be doing 50 to 70,000 damage uh, on average. So, that's pretty much it for the spec. Now, uh, for some common questions that you may have. My damage isn't high enough uh, is a common one. Something that you can simply do is get some feasts, some potions. You want to still stack wisdom. Um, and then the critical bottle of spell strikes, or excellent bottle of spell strikes, which just increases your crit hit by a, a ton, so you're critting more uh, for 15 seconds. Uh, another thing is, practice the spec. Practice makes perfect, making you more fluent with the spec, and, uh, you know, it just it builds on itself over time. Now, uh, one other thing that you can do, and this is a really big overhaul, so if you're a new cleric, it's something you want to do now uh, rather than later. And if you're an older cleric uh, that's still got some gear, it might kind of suck to hear this, but what you're going to want to do is build a crit power gear set. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, most of my gear has crit power on it. Uh, even some pieces I have uh, are lower tiers just because of the crit power on them. Uh, also, all of my sigils or essences in my sigil all have crit power and uh, that is a massive part to to uh, your damage now as you can see I'm rocking a main hand and a toem and that's because the two pieces I the, the toem and main hand that I have have more wisdom and spell power that outweighs the amount of crit power I would get out of a two-hander but for typical starters or midway clerics um, that aren't geared, your probably best bet is to get the crafted two-handed hammer with a crit power augment in it. Uh, if not, you might be able to steal the one off of Crucia. Uh, that's a really nice one as well. But uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, and uh, it's not bad if you do, 
You can post them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you within a day. Or you can go to the Shard Wolfsbane and whisper me in-game or send me in-game mail. Make sure you check that mail because I will get back to you within one day. Thanks for watching YouTube and I will catch you in the next video.